All right, so you have entered an assignment into your gradebook, and now you need to enter the grades. So I have a sample assignment here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the asterisks. And now I have the option to start entering the grades as students have turned in their work. And as I'm going along, I can go ahead and enter those accordingly. Okay. So let's say that I have all of my assignments entered in and we are good to go. All of these students have turned in their work. Now I have a bunch of students here who did not turn anything in. So I can go ahead, enter what's been turned in to me, and then mark unscored as zero and missing. And that'll go ahead and fill in all the zeros and then also click that it is a missing assignment. Um, I have the option to go into the comments here and enter a comment as to why. So if a student refused to work, I can make a note of that so that parents can see that. I can also say something like soccer tournament. So this student was away at a soccer tournament. Now, I'm still expecting that student to make it up. But as of right now, they have a zero and it is missing. Um, so that gives me a couple options there. Now, the thing that you want to make sure you do is go ahead and click save. Otherwise, it's not going to save any of that work that you just did. Another option that I have is over here on the right hand side is I can mass assign grades. So let's say that I want everybody to get 100 on this. I'm going to go ahead and click on overwrite so that it overwrites any of the other scores and I can click on apply. You'll notice that everybody now has a hundred and that was a very quick easy way to give everybody credit on that. Now you can do all of that from there. Maybe I want to adjust the scores so maybe I gave a test and there is a curve that I want to uh, give students so there's a 13 point curve I can adjust the scores by 13 and it's going to it's going to give them those points um, I can uh, do any of these other options as well so again make sure when you're done that you click save otherwise it's not going to show up so that's how you put in grades for individuals as well as bulk grades